All right, folks, yesterday temperatures were pretty warm for you. We got up to 68 degrees yesterday afternoon in Springfield, and they actually made it down to the 70s across northern Arkansas. 73 Harrison yesterday, 72 Mountain Home, and 70 was the high temperature yesterday in Branson. Jump ahead to today. It's a little chillier, right? In fact, it's about 12 to 15 to 16 degrees colder right now than we were at the midday hour yesterday. So it's cooler air funneling in right now. 50 degrees in Springfield, okay? So we are 68 in the afternoon yesterday. We'll be about 53 for today. 52 in Harrison right now. 46, 40s hanging on. Places like Camdenton and up in Rolla. Your winds are getting breezier as the afternoon encroaches on us from the west and northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour. It is going to be a windy day today. And yes, there's a bit of a wind chill out there here and there. Either way you cut it, though, it is going to be a chilly day for this afternoon. Can't say that word enough. Low 50s for this afternoon. If you're going out tonight, you'll want the heavy coat as we will be near freezing for the overnight low temperature tonight. By about uh, 7, 8, 9 p.m., it'll be, um, yeah, a little cool then, probably close to 40. It'll top things down in about uh, 33 for the overnight. So the big storm system up to the north of us, some snow over Minnesota, over the Dakotas. This is channeling in a lot of the cooler air we're seeing. It's going to open the door for that Canadian air to spill on in. That's not going to go away for the few days. We get better over the weekend and then this system here called the bomb cyclone. This is going to come in and cool us off in time for Thanksgiving. Our next storm for the middle of next week is going to come out of that there. So what's it doing now? It's producing a whole lot of snow. It had a blizzard warning earlier across Washington. Mount Hood, want to point this out, just uh, to the east of Portland, Oregon, yeah, they got a couple ski resorts out there and they're happy. The Mount Hood Ski Bowl looks pretty good. Actually caught some folks hitting the ski trails themselves. So people are out and about taking advantage of the snow, a lot of it, up to the Pacific Northwest. And that storm's going to come here for Thanksgiving. It's also going to bring in some of the cold air. Right now, temperatures across Canada are below zero. That storm in the Pacific Northwest is going to pull this cold air down as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. So here's what we're talking about. Okay, so we'll get a first cold front in here. Looks like Sunday into Monday. Slight chance of rain there, but not expecting much chilly as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. And we get kind of a reinforcing push to come on through as we go into your Thursday and Friday. This second push for the middle of next week could come with a chance of rain. Some data says snow. You can't guarantee that, but it does look like there will be a little bit of rain as we go into the middle to end of next week. Also some more cooler weather. So for today, tomorrow and Friday, things look uh, chilly and a little windy today and tomorrow. Friday's not windy. The weekend looks really, really good. All right, so good news there. Next week starts off mild and then we got more rain and another cool down as we go into uh, your turkey day. Okay, well this doesn't look bad. Kind of a calm forecast, I would say, but models are picking up on that crazy weather around Thanksgiving. You told us about it.